Well, this place is ready. We'll be right back to get this series started in just a minute. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Game one of the American League Championship Series. It's the Seattle Mariners taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. Book Shabby alongside Chris Singleton. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And starting this one is Corey Kluber. Yeah, Boog, he got the win last time out. Worked deep into the ball game and scattered a couple of hits. You can expect him today to try to match that performance of his last time out. So just about set. Now it's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. The pitch. To third. One up, one down. Wow. Ty France up next for the Mariners. That smash towards center. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Mariners, Jesse Winker. So it's game one of the LCS, and they're going to be looking to this guy for more of his success like he had in the division series. Well, this team's got its sights set on the World Series. If they're going to get there, it's going to be because of his performance. The one-two. And a foul ball. Short hop liner handled it short. Gets it to first, yeah. and Winker is set down. Out number three. Nobody left for Seattle. Now it's the Rays' turn. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Bottom of the first, and today's starter, Robbie Ray. Yeah, got the W last time out. Six innings, a quality start. Hey, if a guy will give you that, you'll take it every single time. We go to the bottom of the first. And the batter now, Brandon Lau. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. The one-two. And a foul ball. Next pitch is outside. On the ground, right side. He takes it on his own. One gone, bottom half of the first. That is second. Not short stop. Here's Wander Franco, a switch hitter batting right. One down, base is empty. That one missed. I got two on the count. The pitch. Ground ball, left side. On to France. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Designated hitter. Off there. 
here is Austin Meadows. Two outs. Swing and a miss as he was late. Oh, well, he looks to have some quality stuff on the hill today. Start this outing out. Pepper in the zone. Arm is loose and firing him in there. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. The 2-2. Two -two. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And he deals. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Now it's Randy Rosarena. That one drilled left field. This one is crushed. And that is done. Randy Rosarena hits one out. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-0. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the lock, and gets the home run. Base is empty with two away. And now the first baseman, G-Man Choi. Here's a one-two. down on strikes he goes and that'll do it the Rays with a two run homer and it's two zip top of the second now batting Mitch Hanniger. He has consistently been one of the best in the sport against lefties, and yet the righties give him trouble. You know, you don't want to be labeled as that guy, but the numbers say what they say. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that wall. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Kicks and deals. And now two and one after that missed inside. Oh, he's a good player, but if he wants to be great, he's going to have to figure it out against right-handed pitchers. There's so many right-handers in the game that you're going to see them one after another. So you would imagine with that many looks, Boog, that the adjustments got to be coming soon. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. Next offering is foul back. Righty delivers. High fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back there. And it bangs off the top of the wall. Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and third. Nobody out. All over that one right there. So close to blasting that one out of here the other way. But well, that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. J.P. Crawford up next for the Mariners. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. Now one away. 
This is Kyle Lewis. The center fielder, number one. Kyle. And here it comes. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The one-two. Got him. And now two gone. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time a little anxious. Here's Jerry Kelnick. The 1-1. One, one. Next offering is outside. Two one now. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Mariners leave a couple. They trail things here, 2-0. Back here at the ballpark, Yandy Diaz now. Wind in the pitch. And a count one and two. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. The pitch. This one high in the air to left center. Lewis racing over to make the catch. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Manuel Margot up to the plate. The wide to kick the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two gone. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Mike Zanino. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And now two and two. Next pitch is inside. Three and two now. And now the lefty. That one fouled off. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. So here's Murphy now. And the righty deals. That misses off the outside edge. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Oh, well, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, that at-bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at-bat. Here's Adam Frazier. 0 for 1 so far. 3-1 is on the way. 
On the ground, out to short. First two batters oh. retired here in the top of the third. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. So digging in, Ty France. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Kiermaier makes the catch, and that'll do it. Mariners go down quietly there. They're still down. It's 2 zip. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Kiermaier now. Left-hand batter waits. That clips the corner. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. One and two now. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. One away. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base no pass, it's eight. not just the pitcher. It's Second other base guys base. that have to think about it, from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. And now it's Brandon Lau. The wind of the pitch. That one ripped. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Brandon Lau bops one out of here. And they add on. It's 3-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Now batting Wander Franco. 1-1 one, one now. Just missed. Line drive, base hit, so a man aboard now with one away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now it's Austin Meadows. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's two away. Met at first. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Randy or Rosarena. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Look, well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Kelman racing over to make the catch, but add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 3-0. Now in Tampa Bay, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jesse Winker. Bounce to the left side. 
And Winker is set down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Line of the pitch. In the air, left field. The Rosarena should have this one. Makes the grab. Two down. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Righty to the plate. Way high. And now the count filled up three and two. And the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. pitch good plate appearance there able to take the walk man that's a tough one to take on the full count but I guess he saw it really well it's a really nice plate appearance JP Crawford gets a chance to hit here's a 1-1 one -one. And that one off the outside edge. The 2 1. And fouled off. And a pitch. That's inside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Ripped to third and caught. One left for Seattle. They trail it here, 3 nothing. here at Tropicana Field. Bottom four. And stepping in for the Rays, G-Man Choi. Next offering misses. Two and one. Here comes a pitch. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. To the right side. France gets it to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Now the third baseman, Yandi Diaz. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Manuel Margot. His first at bat was a strikeout. The 1-1. And another ball. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Lewis to third. And the throws offline, safe at third. 
Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Mike Zunino next to hit for the Rays. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. Diaz on third. Margot at second with one away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. They usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. Rocketed out towards right center. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play. It's 5 nothing. He's safe at third. It's a two-run triple. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Really nice job to take that inside pitch and pull it into the gap. He could have easily spun off of it or just been tied up. He stayed short to the baseball, and he was thinking triple right out of the box. And here comes the Mariners manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. That'll do it for Robbie Ray. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Pitcher on here, Justice Sheffield, and he'll be dealing with a runner on third. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Lau at the plate. The lefty ready, and a 1 1. On the ground, right side. Two outs. That misses the zone, and it's two and two. Runner at third, two away. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. We played four. It's the Rays five and the Mariners nothing. And welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Leading off, Kyle Lewis. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. The left Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. So, man aboard. Here's the left fielder, Jared Kelnick. And the right hater deals. That's down and in. pitch strike two now he's really working that inside corner with the cutter I tell you what I hated that pitch so tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair swing and a high fly ball in the air left field pulls it in on the warning track Now it's Tom Murphy. The pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. 
Kiermaier moving under this one. Hauls it in, and there's two away. Now that second base. Back to the top of the Seattle order. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, Adam Frazier. Kicks and fires. Out towards right center field. Kiermaier makes the catch, and that'll do it. Mariners lead one. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. here at the ballpark we head to the bottom of the fifth stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop Wander Franco and here it comes soft contact in the air and it's caught for the out the bat, the designated hitter Austin Meadows, Austin Meadows now pitch so a foul ball makes it one and two and he deals and the one two misses to even the count some activity in the Mariners bullpen Eric Swanson getting ready to go kicks and deals on the ground. Suarez handles the chance. Score at 5-3 for the second out with the third baseman shifted over there. And now here is Randy Arozarena. One for two with a two-run homer back in the first. Tapped softly on the ground. Has to barehand it to first. On the money. Nice play. Rays go in order. One, two, three. As they are unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. Welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now for Seattle, Ty France. Right side, hard hit. Takes it himself. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Now Here's Jesse Winker. Pitch misses and a count two and one. And the righty deals. And there's the strike. The why to kick the pitch. Liner, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. It's not often someone hits a baseball this hard. It's worthy of a stack cast treatment singing. Well, I was anxious to see what that exit velo would be. And wow, 116 miles per hour. Stat cast absolutely lives for these moments. You know, it's so cool to get that kind of data back almost instantly. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. And a pitch. And a count one and two. Righty to the plate. That one hammered left field. Way back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. 
Eugenio Suarez blasts one out. And they're chipping away. It's 5-2. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Two outs, nobody on. Here's the shortstop at the play. J.P. Crawford. Hits softly on the ground to third. And that'll do it. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's 5-2. here at Tropicana Field and here's the first baseman G-Man Choi and now the lefty and downstairs moving in the bullpen Sergio Romo getting loose out there Basevich the lefty warming up as well Next one just misses, and that's ball three. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And there's ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there, or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Yandy Diaz digs in now. One for two. At a swing and a line drive at a right field. And that's down. A base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And here is Manuel Margot. Swing and a bouncer. Touches the bag for one, but no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Now batting. And here's the catcher, Mike Zunino. Well, the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. Three balls, two strikes the count. And that's ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Base is loaded with one away. Now up for Tampa Bay, Kevin Kiermeyer. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. The pitch. That one fouled off two and two. And the pitch. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Payoff pitch. That one misses, and that'll bring home a run. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. Margot, the runner at third. Zunino on second. Kiermaier at first, one gone. Lau in the box with one away as he takes ball one. the belt and fires fouls one off two and two
pitch. Ground ball right side, and that's just foul. Bases loaded, one away. The next offering misses. Full count now. Left hand batter waits. Fought off foul. Ground ball right side could be two. Frazier tossed the second on the first double play. And that's the inning. On to the seventh here in game one. It's the Rays six and the Mariners two. And the Rays, they go to the bullpen. Matt Whistler trying to protect this lead. now in Tampa Bay new inning getting started and now the center fielder Kyle Lewis righty delivers yeah. meanwhile activity in the bullpen Brooks Raley the lefty looks to be getting himself ready pitch inside and it's three and two and he chases that one and there's one away and up next for Seattle Jared Kelman Fouls one away and now three and two. And a pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Didn't miss by much right there. Just couldn't get the call off the inside corner. Here's the catcher, Tom Murphy. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. The one-two. The punch out there, two gone now. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball, pitch after pitch, and that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. On the mound now, Brooks Raley. And he'll work on holding this lead. Here's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Next one is off the play. And yeah, that's ball two. Two outs. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Frazier it's out. And that is that. One left for Seattle. They still trail it here. It's six to two. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And stepping in for the Rays, Wander Franco. Now all even up. Line to second. Snagged on the bounce. Tosses to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Up next for Tampa Bay. The designated hitter. Now a 
it's Austin Meadows. Here comes a pitch. Bounce to the right. France takes it himself. And a couple of quick outs. Now that left field. to the pitch sharp grounder that's through for a base hit seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there wasn't able to elevate that one but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield there's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that and now the hitter G-Man Choi Line drive, caught! The Rays strand just the one. They lead it 6-2. to two. Ryan Thompson comes on now, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. here at the ballpark we go to the eighth now the number two hitter Ty France the Mariners in striking distance but have some work to do Boog it starts with the laid off man I need a good at bat out of him right here and the pitch swing and a miss and he's down on strikes lead off man is out here in the eighth Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. And next is the designated hitter, Jesse Winker. The count two and one. Little chopper rolls foul. Left-hand hitter waits. Swings and misses. That's the second out. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. And now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Mitch Hanniger. Right-handed reliever. Foul ball. And down on strikes. That ends the frame. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Sergio Romo taking over on the mound. Now pitching for Seattle. Number 54, Sergio Romo. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now up for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. Rolled over to third, and there's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent bat control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. 
Next to hit, Manuel Margot. And that chance handled. Oh, he throws it away. So Margot is aboard. So the error puts runners at the corners. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Mike Zunino. Kicks and fires. Next pitch in for a strike. That's strike two. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Anthony Misevich up and loosening in the pen. No outs. Runners at first and third. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone here. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just now hasn't that. looked very Better comfortable field. with the plate. Kevin. A little unsure of his timing right Here now. Not are. picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. So up next, Kevin Kiermeyer. Two on, one out. And he walked him. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, now Booth. Second baseman. Anthony Misevich on the pitch out of the pen here. And he steps right into a bases loaded jam. Number 18, Anthony Misevich. Here's the Rays' leadoff hitter, Brandon Lau. up dangerous hitter at the plate and one and two well you know this guy wants to pitch up something that he can hit hard and drive over the wall but you've got to set your sights down a little bit you can't lose your discipline and go after a pitch that you just can't do anything with next one misses and the count is two and two the pitch Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Diaz at third. Margot over at second. Kiermaier over at first, so going away. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. Comes a 2-2. Got him swinging on the curveball. Now two away. Good horizontal movement on that curveball right there, and just enough to get him to chase it. He placed it just off the corner, and that's one of those where a pitcher says if he's going to miss, he's going to miss off the plate. So really good job. Great pitch for the punch out. Wander Franco next to hit for the Rays. Two outs. Bases are full. The next pitch misses. Ball three. If they don't pick up at least one run here, this will be a very disappointing inning. When you load the bases with nobody out, you've got to get at least one run. You're thinking two to three, so they need a big hit right here. On the run, sends it over to first. And that is the inning. And the Rays leave them loaded. They lead it six to two. Now on the mound for the Rays, Andrew Kittredge.
here it comes. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Oh, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. J.P. Crawford up next for the Mariners for the fourth time tonight. Pulls that one foul. Right-hander kicks, deals, stays alive. Chop to third. Diaz picks it up, zips it to first. Now only one out remaining. And stepping in for the Mariners, Kyle Lewis. One for three. Here's a one one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. He can't get there. It's a base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. And that's a two-out double. Well, that was one of those high-percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Put a very nice swing on that pitch right there. Got one to drive and just kept it fair down that right field line and into the corner. And it's almost impossible to track those down as an outfielder. So, last chance for the Mariners. And now, Jared Kellner. The 1-1. One -one. And that one fouled off. Down to their final strike. And that's outside. Good eye right there. Just one strike away. So now two on and two outs. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Now the Mariners catcher, Tom Murphy. pitch so now one and two it might be time to choke up a little bit get that front foot down early maybe even just spread out he's really late right now next offering upstairs this is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game but they're going to make him work to get this save season ticket holder you just come to a couple of games a year to see your team win at home there's just something special about that good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans And your final six to two for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long.
for the victorious Rays. Six runs, nine hits, no errors.